celebrating Women's History Month, honoring the achievements women have contributed in all sorts of industries. In the past few years, there's been a major push for young girls and women to get involved in the STEM programs and career paths. But you might not know one of the early trailblazers of women in math and sciences was born right here in North Carolina. Aisha Scott shows us the brilliance behind Hidden Figures. March is Women's History Month, and we've got a rich history right here in our own backyard. From Monroe, North Carolina, to one of NASA's hidden figures, Dr. Christine Darden broke barriers in the STEM industry, forging a path for many women to follow. Born in 1942 in Monroe, Dr. Christine Darden attended Winchester Avenue School before transferring to Allen High School in Asheville. It was there that she discovered her love of geometry. One of the things I keep remembering about that class was it, it really kind of taught me how mathematics equations were used in the real world. And at that moment, she decided she wanted to become a mathematician. Dr. Darden graduated as the valedictorian of her class and later earned a bachelor's in mathematics from Hampton Institute in Virginia, now known as Hampton University. She got her master's in applied mathematics from Virginia State College and was on the hunt for her next opportunity when she learned from a woman in the school's placement office that NASA was recruiting. She said, well, they were. She said, here, you fill out this application and get it back to me. I'm going to mail it in. I filled it out and gave it back to her. She mailed it in. And three weeks later, I had an offer from NASA. That was 1967. Darden was hired as a human computer. Her job was to support the engineers at NASA's Langley Research Center. So I would write, if they wanted something, a, 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 an equation plotted, I would write, an, I would write a computer program uh, and get all of the data and everything. After eight years, Dr. Darden decided she wanted something different. She also realized that the men being hired as engineers had the same educational background as she did. So she went to her boss to ask why. And he looked at me and he says, you know, nobody's ever asked me that question before. And I said, well, I'm asking it now. And um, said, we said a few more words and then I went back to my office. Moments later, her life changed forever. I went back to my office and I got notice from my boss that I had gotten promoted to an 11. And I um, had been transferred to engineering. So that's how I got into engineering. She was one of a few female aerospace engineers at NASA during that time and became one of the world's experts on sonic booms. The branch that I was in was, was sent there to see, is there any way you can reduce the noise of the sonic boom that is generated by a supersonic airplane? Dr. Darden later earned her doctorate degree from George Washington University and went on to a 40-year career at NASA. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Aisha Scott.